Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. In this video, we're gonna talk about MobileX. MobileX has just dropped some good news. If you're currently a consumer of MobileX, if you have one of their plans, you're probably going to like this update because mobile, what MobileX is doing is basically redefining their uh, the, the way that they're being presented to consumers by adding these new options. They're basically becoming more of a household wireless option by adding these additions. These two updates are actually very important to many consumers because there's many consumers that look for these options before even signing up for a plan. They want this type of option available for them. So MobileX has been stepping up their game and I don't see any slowing down. Personally, I think MobileX is one of those types of companies that sees opportunity in this market. They have a good marketing team. I've done stories about this over the last couple of months. Throughout 2023, MobileX has been basically talking a lot about what their plans in the future are for wireless and how they believe that they're a game changer. And in many ways they are because it's good to have one, many options, right? As wireless service continues to get more and more competitive every day or very frequently, should I say. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of MVNOs. And then of course, those MVNOs are stacked against our large wireless carriers, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. What separates MobileX from everybody else is that they have a couple of options for you, right? You can either choose a plan that they have recommended for you, or you can customize a plan for your own needs. And then they have something where they you can kind of have both, where they'll recommend and you customize at the same time. So I think that's pretty cool. I think there's a lot of customers that are interested in that type of option because there's many consumers that sign up for say AT&T or Verizon, for example, and they're just looking for a plan that's affordable, that gives them enough data to get through the month. Maybe you choose Verizon because they have a $30 plan with five gigs a month, and maybe that's all you need. But perhaps with MobileX, you can pay $25 a month for 30 gigs and save yourself $5 a month. Now, $5 is $5. It's not going to break the bank, but it also feels good to save that $5. And when you're a consumer that has many products that you pay for, Maybe you have a large uh, family that, you know, you're helping, that you're paying all the bills. Maybe you're a dad and you're the only one working and you're paying all the bills for everybody in the family. That $5 per line, you're going to feel that. That can that could be as much as $40, $50 a month, which you can now use towards something else that you need and not something that you shouldn't have to pay f so much for when you have an option to pay less. So this is where MobileX comes in. All right, so what they're offering is new phones or phones and financing, which is something they didn't offer before. So this is in addition to their three plan options, or I say four, but it, it's really three options for the plans. We're gonna take a look at the website. This article will be linked down for you. It's from the T-Mobile report. I found out about it through this, which is why I'm gonna link this article. But basically, we're gonna go to the website and talk about it. So we're gonna to go to their website. I'll link the website for you too. I'm not affiliated in any way, so if you guys sign up, it's on you, it's all good. I don't have an affiliation code. You know me, I'm just getting the news out there for you, trying to help the consumers out, letting them know about what deals and values they can get their hands on. So first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the phones because that's the new add-on here. So as we can see, they have a nice section here they claim all these phones are unlocked, so that's really cool. They have a nice filter option here on the left, so you can choose by condition, any new, pre-owned. You can go by brand, which is cool. Uh, you can choose color, so if you're someone that is uh, very particular about the type of color your phone is, you can choose. Let's say you only want a blue phone. Well, now you have four blue options. You just click on add and immediately gives you only blue phones. So that's really cool. And then you can choose network speed. So you can either do 4G LTE. Maybe you aren't ready for 5G yet. 
you can choose just 4G or you can choose 5G capable. And then, of course, you can sort by price, which is uh, what most consumers, it's the first thing they look for usually. But anyway, let's clear the filter. And as we can see here, these are our options. So a couple of Moto phones, some older iPhones. Um, so this Motorola, Moto G 5G, good phone, $200. I'm just going to be honest with you. If you really wanted just the phone and you're not really interested in Mobile X, you could get this for free with Metro by T-Mobile. Just throwing that out there. But if you want Mobile X, $200 for the phone isn't the worst deal. Um, you know, you would pay a lot more on Amazon for that phone. I think you would be paying like 300 on Amazon for it to be unlocked. So that's cool that they're unlocked. You know, that's that's one thing with, you know, with Metro, if you do get that phone, uh, the, the uh, Motorola uh, G 5G phone, you're going to have to wait six months for it to unlock. So that's the only drawback of getting a phone from Metro versus this right here. But again, you're paying more, right? Metro would be free. This would be 200. So you really have to decide, can you wait the six months? If you can, then, you know, it's all, you know, it's really up to you. But decent amount of phones here, not too bad. It's a couple of pages here. So now we're on the second page. Uh, this is another phone here, the Moto G Stylus 5G. That could also be free with, with Metro, I believe. I think it's free still. So, you know, looking at it, looking at the site, looking at their phone catalog, some decent options. Not too bad if you're looking to just kind of get a phone. They have, you know, they have the Galaxy S23, S23 FE, so Pixel 7 Pro. So not bad, decent amount of phones for sure. Um, pricing could be a little better. I, I think, uh, you know, it's kind of like, it's fair. It's not the best pricing, but it's fair. They just started adding this. So I'm sure over time, if they grow, you know, their customer base, more customers come along, they might be able to get better deals um, with these devices and maybe make knock down a pricing a little bit or maybe add some better promotions for customers to get these phones a little cheaper. So we now know that they offer phones. As you can see here as well, they offer financing with a firm. A firm is probably the biggest financing solution for consumers that purchase phones from wireless carriers. You go to Motorola.com, Samsung, a firm is always there giving you an option. Now, how a firm works is obviously you have to, you know, we'll click on this here. You have to click on this link here, see if you qualify, enter in your social, your information. They do a credit check based on your credit history and your payment, all that good stuff. They'll decide whether you qualify at all and what you qualify for, meaning what's your monthly payment? Will it be 0% interest, a small amount of interest, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all on unfirm. They have to do, the, you know, the whole credit check and then they notify you of what your options are. So these are two new options that were added to Mobile X, and they're very important options because there's a lot of consumers that are signing up to Mobile X that were probably looking for this when they first signed up. You know, you may have signed up to Mobile X as an alternative to get away from T-Mobile, AT&T, or Verizon. You may be tired of those companies. You may be tired of how they do business and you want to go somewhere else, but you don't want to go to some company that makes you feel like it's an MVNO. You want to feel like you're using a postpaid service or that you're dealing with a company that can provide you and your family some quality service with some phone options, some financing options, so it feels a little bit more comfortable. You can feel more relaxed doing business with them. So that's why this is important. It's also a game changer for MobileX because it's going to give help give them more business. You know, if you're on on your on your website, you might see a phone that you like and you might decide, oh, I'm gonna buy it. So I think it's a smart move. It also shows how serious MobileX is that they're really trying to do the whole thing here, not just get some plans out there and that's it. They're they're basically trying to they're turning into a full sized wireless solution. 
All right, so that's the phones. We talked about the financing. Let's quickly go over plans. We can see here three options, personalized access. So they'll give you 10 free days of service. And what that will allow is for MobileX to use their AI tool to learn what your current data usage is. So during those 10 days, you get to load the app um, and basically just do your thing. And MobileX will learn what you use your internet for and then recommend a plan based on that. Or you can pay $15 a month or $14.88 a month, um, get a five gig plan, which includes five gigs of high speed data, unlimited talk, text, nationwide 5G slash 4G coverage. After the five gigs is used, your speeds slow down. Same thing with the basic unlimited, which is $30 or you can pay uh, $24.88. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, $24.88 a month. Then you get 30 gigabytes of high-speed data. Of course, that will slow down once you reach your priority limit. Now, um, one thing about MobileX, the site looks good. Overall, I think everything's pretty clear and visible for you. But as far as what your speeds slow down to once you surpass the 30 gigs and the 5 gigs of priority, uh, it's not clear. I believe it's in the kilobytes. I looked at the site a couple of months ago, last time I talked about MobileX, and I believe it was somewhere in the kilobytes. I don't know, remember exactly what. Uh, if you're someone that's using MobileX or you know what your speeds are throttled down to once you surpass the priority, feel free to comment down below and let, let us know. Help out the community here so we have an idea of what we're looking at once we surpass the priority given by uh, mobile X that would be much appreciated. But uh, other than that site looks good, but they definitely should be a little bit more clear. They could easily have just posted it down here. And there's like, if you click here, no way to, to see it as far as I can tell. So I don't know if there's any terms and conditions somewhere, but, um, might have to see anyway. So that's that. Um, and then we're just going to quickly take a look at the, data forecaster here. So this is where if you're, you can do this two ways, you can either enter how much data you plan on using, or you can enter an amount. So if I only want to spend $15, it'll be 1488. That's how they'll round it off to. Uh, and that would give me 6.14 gigabytes of data. And then they break it down to like what, you know, your general usage is, you can customize it, you know, based on basically what I'll be using my service for. So if I'm someone that does mostly web browsing, okay, I can, you know, I could pay maybe even less than that. So maybe I think in my mind, I need five gigs of data per month or six gigs of data per month, but maybe I don't even need that. Maybe once I look at these, these options here, maybe I'm really just only going to need, you know, maybe I don't do video streaming for some reason, maybe I only do that when I'm on Wi-Fi. Maybe I don't listen to music. You know, maybe I don't play games at all, so I can get rid of that. You know, yeah, productivity, right? What? And then, you know, like I said, I don't do much streaming. So now I just knocked off two gigs and I just saved three bucks. So that's the option here. This is why Mobile X is becoming a trend because there are consumers that have, are just like what I described. They will only use it for browsing out in the field and they do anything else like streaming or music in their home on Wi-Fi. And they'll simply do it to save three bucks. And that's who MobileX is hoping to target, those types of customers. So it's a good idea. It's a great option for those that aren't heavy data users. It could also be a very good option for someone that is a heavy, a heavy data user, but not heavy enough that they'll blow through all this. Maybe you need a second line as an alternative. And like I said, you just don't want to deal with Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. Maybe you've even tried all the big MVNOs such as Visible or US Mobile or Metro, and maybe you're just bored of them as well. You want something different. You had some bad experiences. Again, MobileX is a good option, a good alternative for consumers. It just all depends on what you need and what your taste is, basically what, what value you're looking for in a plan. So now you got decent plans, depending on what your needs are. You have options for phones, 
and you have options for financing. So like I said, Mobile X is starting to turn up the heat, bring in some competition. It's all good, right? Good to see that, you know, there's new options and new business out there for consumers. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.